guys, it's Almond Joy G here, and I'm going to do a house tour. So, I got this house, like, in March, and I'm really excited to show it to you, so this is the overview of it, and here we go! First thing that I'm going to show you is the living room. In the living room, as you can see, there's a cute dog, which is actually a stuffed animal that I got from the craft store, which I really like. And as you can see, you see this china little thing right there, and I don't know what it's called, but I got it actually as a present, and it's really cool. And I have the apples to apples set and whatever it's called. Also, we have that sea animal book from Kanani's, like, paddleboard set. set. <laughs> set. And we also have sushi that I got from Santa, a hot dog, cookies, sandwiches and raisins that little tiny raisins and of course the family portrait we made that a few days ago it's all of my American Girl dolls as you can see we we have tons of American Girl dolls we have 10 which to me isn't a lot and the three ones at the side are the ones that are lookalikes so it took me a long time to find them and how to print them out. Also, there's a cute couch that I made that's kind of like really from the 90s. But I made it out of the shoe box and I think that looks really cute. And that's what my doll's named Alina. And she's holding a MacBook Air that's actually from eBay. And if you see at the side... There is this like little Mickey Mouse thing also. There's even a jar. So, on top of that jar, there is on top of that jar, there's lotion and a tissue box that I made out of a tissue box. Just I kind of just taped it there. Also on the Mickey Mouse, I have a Russian little doll ice cream and Tabasco sauce that I I got when I was in Las Vegas, which is really cute. Now the TV. I got this from, like, Toys R Us. And I just put a little American Girl doll sign at the end because there's, like, Philips TVs. There's tons of kinds of TVs. So I put American Girl at the bottom. And at the sides, there's little tiny, there's a little tiny boxes that has flowers all over them, and that one has cereals, and this one has fruits and vegetables. And near the TV, there's a cupcake stand, lemonade, books, and even popcorn, and I got that little set right there from Journey Girl. And as you can see, Julie is sitting on a bean bag, which I really like for myself, and that is our living room. Next up is the kitchen. In the kitchen, we have an Our Generation set from Target. And it was $60, and that was kind of a ripoff because it's not actually that good, but it looks great in stop motions. And then right there, we have honey and, a and an orange rug. I'm going to do a more detailed thing of this kitchen and what it has in it on the on the next house tour. Also, we have this little coffee table right there, which is kind of just like a table where they can eat stuff with. But it's, I made it a coffee table because it's tiny and they can put their feet on it. And it holds their coffee and that is a Starbucks cup. Cup that I made out of paint and I got that little cup from the Starbucks, of course. This is a really tiny room, but I actually enjoy it a lot. It looks great in stop motions. I hope you guys liked it. Next thing we have is the bathroom. So, in the bathroom, of course, we have a toilet that I made out of the tissue box. It's just kind of weird because it has butterflies on it and flowers. But I put a little American Girl doll box there, so it looked a little more good. <laughs> And we have this bathtub with curtains. I just put those curtains there because it came with a bunk bed. 
and I just think it looks really cute like there's a window there. We also have that little set that I got from American Girl. I forgot what it was called, but I got from Christmas, so I have no idea. And we have Kanani's towel and a little pig on it. Because I'm in love with pigs. If everyone knows that, pigs are my favorite animal. And that little vanity area right there it has a cup inside of there. That is where they spit. And I put a piece of tape in it, so it kind of looks like water, but not really. And I made this out of the van and out of that van you said that the sinks that I mean that basil mentos made. And under there is a little thing full of toothpaste. And little things that you actually need in the bathroom. And that is my bathroom. Next up is Amy's bedroom, which is the blonde haired one over in the corner. See just this? just there on her bed. <laughs> right there she has this little vanity area where she has her computer, a little timer, contacts because she wears glasses, She has, and she also has this little Hello Kitty thing right back there in comic books. And her bed I actually made, and that box right there is from American Girl. In the backsplash, of course, I got, I found it somewhere. And this room is really tiny. And there's a reason that she has her own room. It's because that she kind of skipped a level, which I'm going to make a series of her in high school. So she skipped a level of school. So now she's in high school. That is why she has her own room. And she also has Chosie in that little spot right there. <laughs> and that is Amy's bedroom. To the right of Amy's room is Caroline, Alina, and Gabby's room. As you can see, I made this bedroom kind of plain because it's really bright. It's pink, and I don't know what else to put in it because it's just so bright. It has cheetah print and pink print. Pink print? It's just pink. And there's a pillow in the back and also a little cheetah print. Right there is Gabby's bed. Even though Gabby's sleeping on Alina's bed. <laughs> and then at the corner, right there, that is Caroline's bed with Poppy Popcorn Jr. the third, even though that is not that dog's real name at all. Its real name is Bark Saints from Kanani, but I really like Poppy Popcorn Jr. the third. It's a long name, but we call him Poppy. <laughs> and as you can see, Gabby is sleeping there. And underneath there, we have. To Tinker Toys. The reason is that we duct taped all of that with cheetah print, but we realized that the duct tape was falling, so we put those two little things right there because it helps keep it up. In this room, I may put more like stickers in it because it's kind of blank. And that's Alina, Gabby's, and Caroline's room. If you go to the left and then up, we have Nellie's room. Nellie and Samantha's room. As you can see in the corner is a little webkins pup, which I really like, but even though one of his ears is sticking up. There's Nellie in a historical outfit that I actually really like. In that bed is a trundle, but I made it kind of small because I like this room is really small, but I used it. And as you can see, there's a little cute box that has a flute set because Nellie and Samantha both play flute. So there's a little flute set right there that I really like. Then to the side is Samantha's bed, which looks exactly like Nellie's bed. As you can see, just there's a rug in the middle and they're both beds that are made out of a trundle. So that is Nellie and Samantha's room, even though it's really small. This room is Kanani, Julie, and Sage's room. As you can see, it's a little bunk bed, and right over there, that's the bunk bed that has just a plaid thing. And this room is really blank, because I'm not going to use this, this room a lot in videos, because it's the highest room. And I'm a really short person, so <laughs> I'm not going to use that room. It's all the way up there. <laughs> and... As you can see, Kanani's sitting on that really large bed, but I really like that bed. I made it, actually. And she has blankets and stuff. 
and that and that in the corner is honey and that is Kanoni Julian Sage's room. At the side of the house is McKenna's room because it can't fit in our bedroom. Well, their house, I guess. And it's her loft loft bed that I got because I got her whole entire collection with which is really fun. And it took a long time to get it, but I started playing with it for a while, and now it's just, like, out there. And as you can see, there's an orange zebra curtain, but let me show you. The only reason that I put that there is because it's also my curtain, but there's that behind there, so I didn't really want it to show. So I just put this behind here, and it kind of just made it a little bit different. And it helped it a little more. And also you could, like, cover it so you can't see your sleep. And then right down at the loft, you have her little bed. And she has her lamp and stuff. And there she is reading a book up on her loft bed. So you can see she has stickers all over her bed. They came with that, and I think they're very cute. And also down here, she has, like, a little chart where she puts all of her stuff. And that chart is right there. And she has a lamp that I wish wouldn't work. And a mirror and a few pencils. Plus her little card back of there. You can't see that well. That's how she gets inside of her gymnastics. She also has a water bottle and a clock. As you can see, the clock is over because it doesn't really stay. And she has a little plaid place where she can write. And her chair and that cute rug in a place for her dog to sleep. She also has shelves. Those shelf units have trophies, a pet hamster, money even, stickers, hair stuff, and even books that actually have words inside of them, which I think are really cool. And then people say that there's no ladder, but that is totally not true. If you look at the side right there, that... Those are little ladder steps right there for her to walk up. And there's little places where she can put her gymnastics bag, as you can see. And she can just climb up and sleep on her bed. Which I think I put on the wrong way, but it doesn't really matter. It looks great in stop motion. And that is McKenna's room. Here's the overview of my American Girl Doll house just one last time so you can see. Thanks for watching. And thanks for watching. Hope to see you soon. Bye.